Hello guys, I'm Enzo and I'm back with another video of MATLAB DSP introduction and today I'm going to show you a lot of things about exponential function and at the middle of the video I'm going to show you something uh, which blow your mind and also uh, you should uh, listen carefully because uh, this idea and this is uh, something that you learn when you uh, go to the university for the first semester of your bachelor degree in engineering. So um, your mathematics uh, professors uh, will always uh, mention this and it is really important to have a clear idea about this. Okay, uh, exponential. We want to have an uh, plot of exponential functions. So we need the time. Okay. And we want to plot from uh, 0 or 1. Actually, it doesn't matter. 0 to uh, second 4. And uh, the sampling frequency we need here is 500. Okay. And t, the period uh, of our sampling is 1 over fs. Okay. And we're going to sample this uh, by t. Okay, I think this is clear. And we want to uh, plot something uh, in exponential. So ex is equal to exp. And uh, we need uh, t in order to calculate. Uh, and we want to plot it. So here I'm going to say plot. Uh, we can use t and also ex as the output of our function in above line. OK. Uh, press F5. This is an exponential function. So I'm sorry for these noises. Okay. Um, this is something clear. This is something that you already seen in uh, high school. Okay. Uh, how about go a little bit deeper and also see uh, the usage of this exponential in university. Okay. Uh, you have seen before that you can plot a sinusoid or you can calculate a sinusoid using exponential function hyper sinusoid hyperbolic sinusoid this is something that you can find in wikipedia okay type hyperbolic uh, sinusoid and uh, this will come we're going to go down and we want to calculate a cosinus uh, function using exponential uh, function okay so this is a formula uh, half of uh, this formula. So let's uh, implement it in code and see. Okay, I'm going to say uh, this one. So uh, it's half of what? Uh, EXP, okay, plus EXP, okay. And here we going to make sure this is uh, positive and this is negative. OK, so uh, I and plus and minus I. OK, and what do we have here? We have uh, a argument or here is the argument. So here we are. Uh, talking about the frequency. So what can we do in the frequency? As we saw in the previous uh, videos, uh, we need a frequency for our cosinusoid function and we need to multiply it by 2 pi in order to convert it and we need the time series. Okay, and we have time series calculated over here. And exactly this one 
will go over here. What is the frequency that we want to calculate? Okay, I'm going to show you 4 Hz. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's not dollar sign, it is percentage. Okay. And this i is for complex values. So I'm going to show you right here, for example, we have a variable a and it's uh, 1 plus 2 i. Okay, this uh, A has a value as absolute and uh, also has a value of phase. So, and uh, phase, I think it was phase. Uh, oh, no, phase that no. Uh, ang was something. Ang go. Okay. And this is the angle in uh, outcome of the A. Okay, you can calculate this uh, to make sure if you want to see, but uh, I'm not going to talk about it here. Okay, so we want to see the shape of our window, uh, our uh, wave. So I want to plot uh, our question result function, and uh, we want to have in another figure. So we don't to make everything complicated. Okay. You see, this is a cosinusoid function made with exponential. Okay, how about a sinusoid? You want to make another uh, uh, function and plot it also here. Uh, we're gonna name this one sinusoid okay and uh, how can we calculate sinusoid okay I want to sh stop the video here and try to write it yourself uh, it's not something complicated you just have to follow this calculation uh, half of this function okay but remember there are two differences between a sinusoid and a cosinusoid this minus here and also we have i sinusoid this is a complex value so you have to divide this uh, formula by i which is a complex number in order to reach sinusoid so we have the i uh, with the two here so let's see actually okay uh, i multiply by half or minus i doesn't matter minus i because we go into the uh, numerator and this will be uh, minus so uh, we want to plot it in the second subplot you see guys do you have any clear idea if you don't have uh, something is completely uh, strange just leave the comment Blow and I will answer it as soon as I see it. Okay, press F5 and boom, a sinusoid and a cosinusoid. Mm. Uh, you see the difference. Actually, you are sure, are surely smart. Okay, so this is something about exponential function in MATLAB and also how can we use and uh, benefit from it and see our university lessons in action um, I think it is enough for exponential uh, you should have a clear idea about this uh, so that's it for today thanks for watching until the end please subscribe and like if you have any question please leave a comment below thank you guys have a good day bye bye